What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Wind Talk Space Heater. In this review, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this space heater, including one thing that you should know before buying. All right, guys, so this space heater, we are trying it out. We're trying out a number of space heaters at present. My wife wanted to get one for her office downstairs, and this one I think looks pretty nice, um, and it's a little bit smaller than the others, but uh, she tested it for about a day and a half or so, and it actually did a really good job. So let me talk a little bit about it. So first off, it does a really good job of uh, heating up the room. She didn't have any issues with that. There are a number of different things here. So there's the oscillation feature, uh, the modes, so you can cycle between the modes, the timer, and then the on-off switch. So we'll turn it on here real quick. You can see it immediately turns on to high, and this is obviously the warmest setting, and will heat up the room the quickest, okay? Uh, and then we press mode, oops, sorry mode again. This is the low setting. This will also heat up the room, but just at a uh, basically a slower time frame. The one thing I will say I noticed about this, this gets warm really quick. I mean, this is already really warm. I wouldn't even, I don't, yeah, I don't even want to touch it. That's already warm that quick. So that was seconds, right? It does warm up really, really quick. The other thing is mode. Now this is actually a really good solution. So this mode is eco mode. And what we can do is we could basically say, okay, I only want it to get um, up to, let's say like 75 degrees in this room, oh, 74, 75 degrees. And then I want it to turn off. And then I want it to turn back on when it falls to 73 and then turn back off. So it'll basically, it, it uses a sensor to understand ambient temperature and will keep the room at that temperature. That is her favorite setting um, for obvious reasons. It's just nice to keep it consistent. The other thing is, like I said, the oscillation feature. So this does oscillate um, and will move side to side. As you can see, there is a remote control as well that does all this. Um, I'm not even gonna deal with that right now just because you know we're obviously doing a review here, but it does have all those features. One thing that is cool too is you can actually, so with this, you can adjust these fan or these uh, flaps to say where we want the air to go. So if we want the air to go down, we could do that. If we want it to go up, we could do that. If you want it to be kind of in the middle, you know, you can adjust it to the middle, etc. So you can adjust the way that the airflow is actually happening with this, which is a nice little feature for sure. And one thing to note here too, I don't know exactly why this is, but anytime that you turn this off, it does a 15 second time uh, countdown. You cannot adjust that. Don't know exactly why that is, probably a safety thing or something like that, uh, but it does do that as well. And I should mention too that the timer here, this is actually a 24 hour timer. Um, you know, some of them have up to 12 hours. This one is 24 hours, which is nice. One thing I wanna show you, and this is basically a thing that you should know about this before buying. So the one thing I noticed about this particular one is that on the bottom of these, usually they'll have like a little um, button that you can be pressed or depressed that will indicate if this thing will stay on or off. This one does not have that, which I was like, well, that's a, kind of a safety issue because if it gets knocked over, then you know there could potentially be a fire. Not true because, right? Let's just say this falls over. There is nothing here to press or depress, right? None of these right here work. So how to do it? It's actually built into, built into the device itself which is a pretty cool little feature. Um, you know, it's not like it's uh, a button on the bottom. I think that that was a cool little feature. Basically hidden, I'm sure it wasn't like an engineering marvel, but definitely a nice touch for sure. So overall guys, if you are considering the Wind Talk uh, portable heater, definitely do recommend. My wife liked it a lot. Um, probably the biggest thing I know is it heats up really, really quick. And you know, it's nice that it has that kind of a button on the bottom, kind of hidden in a way. But yeah, overall, good space heater. Definitely recommend it if you want to consider it. Don't think that you'll regret it and hope that you enjoy.